क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मॉलिक्यूल्स हैज द मैक्सिमम डायपोल मूवमेंट वी हैव डिफरेंट स्पीशीज गिवन हियर डायपोल मूवमेंट रिप्रेजेंट द पोलैरिटी ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल एंड वी मेजर इट इन डिबाई वी नो दैट लेट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेक द स्पीशीज गिवन हियर एंड वी हैव अमोनिया मॉलिक्यूल एंड इन केस ऑफ अमोनिया मॉलिक्यूल यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट इट हैज द पेरामिडल शेप इन दिस वे so the bond dipoles would be in this way and there would be the dipole due to the presence of the lone pair also so in this case we have the polarity in this molecule similarly if i talk about h2o h2o molecule oxygen atom has the two lone pairs due to the electronegativity between hydrogen and oxygen there is the bond dipole also and here is basically the polarity but if i talk about bcl3 let's check the structure of this bcl3 here so this type of structure and in this case there is no dipole moment the reason is there is the cancellation of the polarity and that's why in this case the mu value or the value of the dipole moment is zero similarly if i talk about carbon dioxide linear molecule it is here also no polarity dipole moment is zero so we have the first two cases in which only the dipole moment exist here is zero dipole moment here is also zero dipole moment now if i talk about these two molecules ammonia and water which of these have more dipole moment in case of water molecule oxygen atom is joined with the hydrogen atom due to more electronegativity of oxygen there is more polarity in the bond and due to more bond polarity in case of water molecule there is more dipole moment and the resultant value of the mu or the dipole moment for water is 1.85 divide there's no need to learn this value you should remember that in case of water more polarity is there while in case of ammonia comparatively less polarity and the value of dipole moment is 1.47 divide now the answer is very clear that is option 2 which is correct now the next is the turn for the next question and the question is question number 39 the pair of species with the same bond order is in this case you should know the bond order of the given species if i talk about o2 in this case bond order is 3 i'll just write here it's 2 now if i talk about o2 plus in case of o2 plus the bond order gets changed and it becomes 2.5 how would you find out this bond order this can be calculated with the help of molecular orbital theory and bond order is equal to half bonding electron minus anti bonding electron that's a formula and with the help of molecular orbital theory you can find it out now further if i talk about n2 the bond order of n2 is 3 and if i talk about carbon monoxide in this case also bond order is 3 it means this is the correct answer because the question is saying the pair of the species with the same bond order this is the pair but let's check the bond order of other species also this we already know it is 2.5 o2 plus and what about o2 2 minus in case of o2 2 minus there is more anti bonding electron and that's why the bond order in this case becomes 1 further we have n2 the bond order is 3 and in case of n2 plus the bond order is 2.5 so these are the values of the bond order that i have just written for you now the correct answer is option 2 i hope it is clear now the turn is for question number 40 on complete combustion of ethane hybridization of the carbon atom changes from first of all you should know the process of the complete combustion of ethane ethane is c2h6 on complete combustion sufficient oxygen supply is there and thus the formation of 
carbon dioxide and H2O. So, this process includes there would be the total number of the carbon atom and the hydrogen atom should be same. So, this would be the reaction. Now, the thing is you need to just find out the hybridization of the carbon in both of these species. One is this, another is this. First of all, we have ethane initially and in case of ethane, the hybridization of the carbon. Carbon is bonded with hydrogen in this way. All the single bonds are there between carbon and hydrogen and even carbon and carbon also. Hybridization in case of this is sp3. For the carbon, if I talk about this carbon is sp3 hybridized. If I talk about the next species that is carbon dioxide and in case of carbon dioxide, there is a double bond between carbon and oxygen. Now, hybridization is sp. So, what is the change in hybridization from sp3 to sp and that is why the correct option, just have a look on that option 4. After this question number 41. 